Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Interlock IT. Google's new Chrome management features, which are exclusive to Google Apps for business and education customers, grant you the flexibility to decide who gets access to your organization's assets from a single central console. Similar to Active Directory in practice, but much more user-friendly, this console is accessed from your regular domain management control panel by navigating first to settings and then to Chrome management. Here, you're presented with a wealth of options that cover everything from policy refresh rates to application auditing, password enforcement, geolocation, and even audio-video configuration for devices. The area we'll be focusing for now, however, is the device settings pane. The first setting here, device enrollment, is where you'll need to make a crucial choice for your organization. You can choose to let Google do all the heavy lifting for you by automatically registering devices the first time someone signs into one using your domain, which is the default option, or you can choose to enroll each device by yourself, manually. We recommend automatic enrollment. However, if you need to automatically enroll a number of devices at once, you should first test this enrollment method with a few devices before deploying it across your organization. In the Networks pane, you can choose to configure certain settings for users and other settings for devices. You'll note that you have the option to configure both VPN and Wi-Fi networks for users, and this allows you to pre-configure these networks so that users don't have to worry about typing in long network keys or fiddling around with any VPN settings. It also makes changing wireless network keys a breeze, as any settings that are changed here will be updated across all devices automatically in a matter of moments. Back in device settings, you'll notice that you have a number of further options for configuring your devices. You can enable or disable guest mode. Restrict sign-in to certain authorized users, domains, or subdomains. Wipe user data after each sign-out. Configure auto-update settings. Change public usage settings. Choose your update release channel. Enable or disable mobile data roaming for 3G-equipped devices. Allow or disallow anonymous usage statistics. Report device statistics. And set your time zone. Device reporting specifies whether Chrome devices enrolled in your domain report their current device state, including firmware, Chrome, and platform version, and boot mode, to the central console. Since we currently have public sessions enabled, we also have an extra tab on top where we can configure further options for these sessions. This is particularly useful if, for instance, you want to set up a Chromebook or Chromebox as a public information terminal or other kiosk where people without Google account credentials will have access. You have a variety of settings available here, from standard session time limits and idle timeouts to your security settings and installed applications. But you also get the ability to configure things that would normally require complex Microsoft Windows domain group policy editing, custom Chrome browser startup options, the ability to enforce or disable safe search, allow or disallow screenshots, block pop-ups or specific URLs, configure printer access, enable spell checking, translation, and so on. These settings make it very easy to control exactly what content users will be able to access on your devices. Obviously, this does not override a hardware firewall or a bona fide web filter, but it certainly helps in preventing access to work-unfriendly material. On the whole, Chrome devices offer a number of benefits over a standard Microsoft domain setup. The three major areas where Chrome devices excel are cost, reliability, and simplicity. Chrome devices are cheaper than Windows machines just in terms of pure hardware, starting at only $249, and only require a one-time purchase of a $150 management license. On the other hand, Windows infrastructure requires numerous server, domain controller, office licenses, on-site or outsource IT staff, antivirus protection, and so on. Chrome devices are more cost-efficient even than an entry-level iPad, which starts at $329, though the high-end ones can cost nearly $1,000 each. The second area where Chrome devices best their Windows rivals is in reliability. There's no need to reconfigure any local software since everything lives in the cloud, secured by Google for you. You never experience any downtime or lost productivity while waiting for a laptop to be repaired or a new device to be delivered. Simply log in with a Google account and everything you need is there. Finally, Chrome devices are simpler to use. No complex VPN setups required for simple password changes, network share access, and so on. Simply log in and go. On a Windows machine, you need a VPN configured just to be able to change your password. For all these reasons, and even more we haven't covered, Chrome devices are our machines of choice for nearly everything we do. It can offer a fantastic benefit to your business as well.